rain outside and like I don't, I don't even know if that's safe like can planes fly in the rain they shouldn't obviously can planes fly in rain Story time videos on YouTube. Oh my flipping gosh. I could make a whole video just ranting about them because these YouTubers who make these story time videos clickbait the hell out of them simply because there's no evidence that, you know, they're lying. They could they could just be lying and no one would know. So in today's video, I wanted to react to a story time video that was actually recommended to me. Uh, obviously, I do like planes, so this related to what I normally watch on YouTube anyway because I'm kind of sad. Uh, I apologize if this video is a little bit worse. Uh, it's because I'm tired. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I really am sorry. I care a lot about the quality of my content on this channel, so it hurts when my videos aren't, you know, high quality. To be fair, I've not even made this video yet, and I'm already apologizing for it being bad, but you know, shut up. Anyway, guys, wait, what? It's not the end of the video yet, what the hell? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Uh, but without further ado, let's have a little look at this video. It's called, I Almost Died in a Plane Crash Story Time. I, I love the image. Um... <laughs> It's just a plane with with a flipping flame transparent overlay. I can't even point at it because it just flipping changes into this GIF. It's not true. Like, very few planes crash. I can't wait to hear this story. I bet the reality of the situation was that the plane, I don't know, just landed a bit too hard. And then, and because of that, she's got them clickbaiting her almost dying. That, that's pretty good in my opinion. These story channel YouTube channels, though, are very successful most of the time. And that's because people believe, you know, the person making it. But unfortunately, I know a bit too much about planes. And I know that they don't crash very often. So I can almost guarantee that this video uh, is just a piece of hyperbole, which is bad because it's just clickbait. Right, let's click on this video then. Hey. I love the uh, grammar here, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, colon. That's how English works. I almost died in a plane crash story time. Wow. I swear stories don't actually have to be factual. So technically it isn't clickbait, but it's just stupid. Oh my God. Some of these comments though. I love this. I am going on a plane for the first time in 10 years this summer, and this has made me slightly nervous. Like, the main reason why I don't like uh, these videos, I've seen so many of these uh, videos, obviously with different alternations, in which people clickbait them crashing on planes, and it's just stupid because it paints this false reality that aircraft are dangerous, and it makes people nervous. You know, they, they need to be exposed. <laughs> And I'm not making this video to expose them. I'm just making this video to make fun of them. Ha 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 ha. Right, let's let's press play and see how good this video is. I can guess that it's going to be really good. And I know some people in the comments are going to be going, Oh, Cameron, but she has more subscribers than you. Oh, for God's sake, that annoys me so much when people say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> subscribers don't mean crap, okay? Like, it, it, they just don't. Just because a channel has more subscribers, all that means is pretty much YouTube has shown off the content to more people. It does not represent how good the content is. Hey guys, it's Haley here. Make sure you subscribe. So, <laughs> when you're thirsty, so you start off your video saying subscribe. Okay. Great, another goddamn self-aware YouTube channel. I'm so sick of this. Like, you can be self-aware 100%, but you can't be self-aware just to defend yourself. Like, you can't be self-aware and then not be funny. It just, it, it, it ruins the joke of the video. A lot of people in the comments are actually complaining about how it didn't actually crash. <laughs> Sweetheart, a plane crash is when the plane actually crashes. Wow, I can't, I can't wait to see this video. It, I, I think that it's not going to be clickbait whatsoever. If I told you that I loved you, tell me what would you say? If I told you that I hated you, would you go away? That's a good intro. I like that. Hmm. It's nice. I uh, don't know why it's nice. It's a good intro. I really like the profession, professional approach to the video. It really is good. I created this art piece. It's my history project, actually. No one flipping asked. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm tired. I really am. <laughs> I'm just going to so me. You flipping clickbaited me to this video. So, I'm going to be mean. So, shut sure. up. Story of how I almost died in a 
plane accident, plane crash, new season of Lost. That's what almost happened to me, basically. So yeah, but you said it almost happened to you. What do you mean by that? So if you guys didn't know, last year I used to live in Istanbul. No, wait, that was a lie. Not last year, that was like two. Um, Sixth grade, I'm in tenth grade now. I'm sorry, but you just said something else was a lie. So is the video's title and tags and crap. Great. Anyway, so I was in sixth grade and I used to live in Istanbul, which is a city in Turkey for those of you that failed geography. What the hell? For those who fit Some people don't know where some cities in the world are. I knew where Istanbul was though. Got a friend from Turkey. Because I'm not racist, because I'm a nice person. Top 10 biggest lies. <laughs> Karen's a nice person, number one. Great. One weekend, me, my sister, and my dad decided to visit her in Izmir. So we bought some plane tickets to go visit her, and we're going to the airport. No, it was a rainy day. There was thunder, and it was nighttime. I mean, I guess. Oh, God. That's the worst. Oh, planes, they're safe, but, it, but oh my God. If it's dark outside, if there's a bit of rain. Uh, and it's thundery. Flipping, you're gonna crash, okay? You're just gonna crash. Planes, it's, no, it's definitely not like planes uh, have been developed for hundreds of years. Um, and they've been developed specifically to withstand the worst possible weather conditions. The plane takes off like normal planes do. And everything's fine. My family likes to travel a lot. So I've probably been on a plane 300 times the least. I have a feeling that's not true, but I, I mean, I, I, it's fine, it might be true, okay. There was slight turbulence to begin with. This is when the exciting things begin. So there was slight turbulence, and since I'm so used to traveling, turbulence doesn't really bring out any weird feelings in me. What well, it does. It still feels weird, it's just that you know what's happening, so it's less scary. Turbulence doesn't tweak me, it doesn't peak me. New vocab word we learned in class today. It's like... What's that? It doesn't peak you. I'm not talking about sex here. What the hell? Out of all the words you could have used. It doesn't scare me. Okay, just say that. Turbulence doesn't tweak me. It doesn't peak me. New vocab word we learned in class today. It's like, oh, the plane's shaking. That's not flipping turbulence, so I don't know what you're talking about. The plane shakes. It's a flipping plane. Of course it shakes. That's not turbulence, though, is it? And there's, like, rain outside, and, like, I don't, I don't even know if that's safe, like, can... Planes fly in the rain. They shouldn't, obviously. Can planes fly in rain? <sighs> Did she, is she joking? She, she better be joking. Right, we're just gonna take that as a joke. And then the turbulence starts getting worse and worse. And I'm still not affected by it. I mean, I'm a child with no feelings anyway, so like, um, I'll literally be like, okay, like, uh, more shaking. So if you have no feelings, why are, you, why are you so dramatic in the title? And why can I easily find a video of you crying on your channel? Definitely not a video on her channel called The Reason I Broke Down. Uh, no, she has no feelings, okay? She's just a hard, strong, independent woman. She doesn't get affected by goddamn anything, okay? And then the weird thing happens when the plane keeps, like, going down, and then it'll start going up again, so it'll go down. And you know that feeling when you're on a roller coaster, and the roller coaster goes up, and you get, like, this weird feeling in your stomach? That's called turbulence. That started happening. And I usually love that feeling, especially when I'm at Disneyland. But we're not in Disneyland, we're on a plane 30,000 feet above the ground. So, mm, not the same feeling exactly. And it's kind of raining and like, it's just like... You just said you were 30,000 feet up in the air and it was raining. That's higher than the clouds. That doesn't make... Oh my god, is she actually this dumb? I, are you mad? I don't think I've ever watched a video in which my brain has hurt this much because she's just so stupid. Oh, it was raining. You were 30,000 feet up in the air though. It can't be flipping raining. Plane's going down, there's turbulence. My sister's kind of getting freaked out and I like love her to death. So like whenever she's freaked out, I start, you know, getting freaked out for her because I love her so much. So my dad keeps like looking at me, like making sure we're okay. He keeps like looking at us and I'm just like, okay, like what is going on? Like this is just a turbulence, we're gonna be fine. So then the 
plane goes down, like, like, it like drops. And like, it's still in the air, but it's like dropping and dropping. And I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna, we're, this plane is gonna fall. And that's when I like start kind of panicking, which is weird because I usually don't have emotions. This is so dumb. The plane was not falling. That's not how planes work. If a plane's flying at 500 goddamn miles per hour and for some reason it's not falling out the sky, the pilot is just going to pitch the plane up and rotate the flaps. That's what they're going to do. I guarantee they wouldn't have done that because it was not falling. And she's just over-exaggerating this goddamn video for clickbait to get more views and more money. And then she's been representing this false danger of aircraft when it's just not true, okay? Like, I could make a video, uh, oh yeah, one time I was on a plane arriving from Girona, Costa Brava Airport, and we were arriving at London Luton, and oh, the plane, it felt like it fell on the runway, oh my god, it was the worst thing ever! It's definitely not like the plane was 200 tons, and it was hitting the ground in a couple of seconds. Like, it's so stupid, planes are designed to be strong. There's a reason why they're designed to be strong. So I'm like, oh my god, like, I just look at my dad and I'm like, dad, like, what's happening? He's like, oh, like, nothing, like, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, because you see, your dad was actually telling the truth. Everything would be fine. I wish she died in this plane crash, but that's irrelevant. I'm glad that she survived it. Uh, it wasn't a plane crash, though, but, you know. And then the most scariest thing of my whole entire life happens. We hear there's a big bomb sound, and it goes... This would have been documented, and it's clear that she doesn't understand what the hell she's talking about, because if she did, she would be like, okay, so this was the flight number I was on, uh, this is what aircraft model I was on, here's a link in the description to the Wikipedia page, which actually talks about what happens, that would be the plane crash, because she says that she almost died in a plane crash, if it was a plane crash, it'd be on Wikipedia, if you share that, hell yeah, I believe you. She isn't, because it didn't happen, if there was a flipping explosion in an aircraft, I think it would be documented. <laughs> of the airplane like screaming she's like we're gonna die we're gonna die. like she's like literally saying we're gonna die and there are kids on this plane like old ladies sit your ass down like shut like you don't know what you're talking about the did you just describe yourself there I know there's going to be some people in the comments going, Kimmy, you're just jealous because she's good looking. Yes, she's good looking, but that can't compensate for you being a goddamn idiot. Right, I'm done with this video. It's actually irritating me. Like, how can you just lie about a story? How can you put so much hyperbole into play that it actually just makes the story completely false and then promote it to other people? Like, people are going to watch this video and they're going to be like, oh, I'm scared to go on the plane. But there's going to be an explosion. Like, you're scaring people just for your own benefit. It's so flipping scummy. I'm so angry. I'm tired as hell and I'm just angry. Okay, leave me alone. I hate her. I actually hate her content. I hate her because she's obviously lying. She's obviously got that pathological liar. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, obviously, I'm joking a lot in this video, but it annoys me how she can just make this video lying about something that didn't flipping happen. I would understand it if she called the video something like the worst flight that I've ever been on. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new today. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll be ha seeing you guys later. Goodbye.